Day 2, Psalm 1, 3 through 6. Prepare. Take a few slow breaths and quiet your soul. Close your eyes and set aside any distractions. Cast your cares one at a time upon the Lord and let Him carry them so you can focus your attention on His Word. Your deepest desire. According to James 5.17, Elijah's prayers were answered not because he was an extraordinary man, but because of how earnestly he prayed. Earnestness is the key to answered prayer. What is the deepest, most driving desire in your heart today? Cry out to God for that. Meditate. Psalm 1, 1 through 6. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Verses 1 and 2 describe the kind of person God chooses to bless, the one who delights in and meditates on the Word rather than looking to the world's counsel and advice. The rest of the psalm describes the outcome for each. God wants to entice us to His blessing. Listen to the passage again and allow your heart to be drawn by the picture God paints. The goal is to come away with a driving desire for God's blessing. Blessed is the man. He is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does, prospers. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous. Close your eyes and imagine this Eden-like garden he's describing. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Do you have the picture? Listen to the sound of the rippling creek flowing through the garden. Along the bank is a beautiful flourishing, fruitful tree. The scene is lush and green, full of life. Which aspects of your life are like that tree?
compare that to the one who does not receive God's blessing. Verse 4, not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Now you're in a different place, a dry, desolate place. There's no water here. The hot, relentless sun beats down on everything and there is no life. You take a dead, dried leaf in your hand and close your fist around it, crushing it into tiny pieces. Then you open your hand and the hot wind sweeps the pieces away. Imagine it. Have you ever had parts of your life that are like that leaf? God begins the book of Psalms with the question, do you want your life to be like that tree in the garden? Or do you want to be like that crushed leaf? What does flourishing look like? What are some specific ways your life would be different if it were more like that tree and less like a dead leaf? The tree yields its fruit. In what area of your life would you like to be more fruitful? Talk to God about the desires this passage is stimulating in your heart. Ask him to intensify those desires. In the closing verses, the psalmist draws the conclusion. Verse 5, Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. What characteristics of God stand out to you as you contemplate this psalm? Talk to him about them. It's the stream of water that makes the tree flourish. What does that stream represent? Pray for others, enemies and children. Think of some of the people you have the hardest time loving. Pray that anything keeping them from flourishing would be removed so they might be like the tree. Pray the same for anyone else the Lord has laid on your heart today. Pray for the children in your life. Ask God to protect them from falling in with the world and ending up like chaff.
thanksgiving. What are some ways your life has flourished like a tree by streams of water? What fruit has God produced through you? Thank God for those things one at a time. Take it with you. Pick one thought from this meditation that you want to carry with you. What can you use as memory cues in the upcoming day to help you bring that thought to mind at least twice more today?